previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got Watch another out. good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hello everybody, my name is Heartless Prince and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. This time we're on episode 2 and we've all just seen what happened in the last ep episode. And this game is damn fucking awesome. I love this game so far. As I said in the previous ones, I know it's an old game, but I'm still going to be let's playing it. I don't expect to be getting loads of views. I just love the game so far, so... Alright, three months later. God, we've been there for three months. Let's kill this son of a bitch! Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so I am going to be the kind of trustworthy guy. Uh, like I've said previously, I want to be loyal to my buddies in the group. Damn, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Uh, bad times. <laughs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. <laughs> yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Oh, good. It's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Not surprised. Three months, food can go just like that. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Alright, now you left us Lily. Not enough. Uh, not enough in my opinion. Not enough. According to Lily, we just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. Uh, you mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. It's, it's fair Kenny's enough, though. More luck than we are out here. I sure hope so. Ah, so Kenny's yeah, out there somewhere as well. Food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Mm, he's got a family to look out. He's better. He's got a family to look out, out for. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own <clears> will get them all killed. Can't blame him though. Did mm. you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an asshole. He thinks I'm dangerous. He's no racist asshole. I have no idea. He's just looking out for his door. Uh, he, he thinks, thinks I'm, I'm dangerous. A danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. Damn right. The way Lily worries about his health. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile <laughs> driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he uh, punch you in the face one time? Uh, yep. Knock me flat. <laughs> Yeah, he's a big fucking... He is a pile driver, basically. You don't want to fuck with him, even though he is a son of a bitch. You have to shoot in that... You can make the shot. Don't don't risk it. It's only one bird. Don't risk the noise. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. One bullet will tear that thing in two. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh shit. Hope not. <coughs> Go 
Go, 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 go. Oh shit, who are these guys? Ooh, bear trap. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. No, we didn't what raid no one. Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? We're not gonna hurt it's you. It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. This <laughs> fucked up. We gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just yeah, I'm sure you do. Get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. All right. Was he bitten? Was he bitten? Bitten? No. I swear. Right. Hurry, please. Hurry. <clears throat> oh shit. Alright. There's no release last. Fuck. Right, um Oh no. Oh shit. Shit. Walkers! Now or never leave. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Right, I'll help you. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Question is, uh how the fuck are we gonna oh oh break it off we out? With no release latch. Stop, stop. Is he gonna make Can't it? Can't do it with our hands. Let's try prying it off or hitting it. Prying it off. No, that's not working. Let's try smacking the chain. Come on, do something. No. Shit. Um. 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 Why would somebody do this? Ah, it's not gonna work, is it? Like that the airport space to lift over to me. You're not cutting through that. Shit. Um, this is bad. Really bad. Gonna have to chop there his leg off. I'm gonna be surrounded any minute. We'll have time for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry ma'am. You have to chop it off. I'm gonna have to catch you out. No, no, no! Try the trap! I can't keep him back forever! Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go! Sure, come on. Sorry. Ooh. Again. Mm. One more might do it. Looks like it's hanging off. Ah, shit. Still attached. Crap. One more, pal. I'll do it. There you go. Oh, fuck, he's fainted. Passed out. Sorry, pal, that's to be done. Oh shit, you're gonna you it's best right, not die of blood loss. Go. Grab him, hurry, and let's go. Go, 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 go. Behind you! Grab it! Oh shit. Come on, come on, we gotta move! Run! Oh my fucking god! Get up and run! Well, man, that was a very good beginning to an episode. Oh, Jesus Christ. Episode 2, Starved for Help. Hmm. Hey, Larry, you fucking asshole. I'll never like him, ever. Hey, Clem. It all looks so depressive. But yet again, being there for three months, hardly being able to leave, what do you expect? I'm guessing Lily is a lookout, maybe? Yeah, she's a lookout.
<clears throat> yeah, it looks like they've got all, well, basically trained in what to do. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Trying to help people, that's why. Come on! Come on. Oh God. What happened? Oh, 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 all right. Well, that was a stupid thing. To oh, do. go we fuck are yourself. Not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. <clears throat> we have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Good thinking, come Carly. On, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out there. Welcome to the family, kid. <laughs> yeah, come welcome. over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? Aww. No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn doesn't matter. Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Shit. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Fuck you, Larry. Move on. Do what your bitch tells you. Not that Lila's a bitch, she's just trying to get by and think everything. this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. <clears throat> oh, crap. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Alright then. So I'm in charge of giving the food. Oh, great. Oh, fairness. It'll take the stress off of her, I suppose. Ah, oh, everyone wants food. I'm gonna have to make really hard decisions. Now I've got four pieces of food. Was it beef jerky, two lunchable things, and an apple? Were it? See how kids are doing. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? Yeah, Can where's you your hat? Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. Uh, I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Yeah. Okay. Aw, I hope she's okay. She seems alright. She just seems a little bit depressed. How are you doing, Carly? I'm giving out food, what should I do? Sleeping any better? Uh, well, I know what to do, I just have to choose, basically, so sleeping any better? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. <clears throat> Drugstore? Yeah. Uh, Back in a bit. She seems to be having a bad time. Uh, ben! Let's introduce you. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. Not there to was do no it. other way. So who are you? So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. 
The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Hmm. How are you holding up? How are you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. Uh, you'll be prepared next time. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. You seem a right. little bit we'll get your friend hard on yourself like you. Sure You're just that so. kind of person who has a low self-esteem of himself and... I don't know, maybe... Hope that changes. Alright. What are you got? How are you doing, Katja? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, <laughs> cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. That's what I, did. I did the right thing. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I think I did, to be honest. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Mm. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. No problem. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okie dokie. Oh, I wonder if he'll make it. Oh, if. If we caught it in time and he's not lost too much blood, he should do. So who knows? The fence. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Hmm. Okay. Will you hold the damn board steady? <sighs> I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hmm. You're just an asshole, aren't you? Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, yeah. I just hope Kamja can save him. Alright, uh... Oh, he's from the Air Force, okay. Uh, you ever miss the Air Force base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Ah, oh, so we must have gone to an Air Force base then, okay. Uh, Need nah. any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. You know what? I'm not going to be selfish. I'm not going to be like that kind of, oh, fuck you, you punched me in the face. Fuck you, asshole. I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to Larry. You know... Just he's, a, he's a complete and utter fucking thunder cunt, but <laughs> why not? You know what? I'm going to give it to Larry. And plus Mark says he's weak, so Larry. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, <sighs> give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, because it's fucking true. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Oh, Look, rip your balls off and stuff them up your ass. You have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <sighs> yeah, I know. Just ignore it, Mark. Mark, do you want some food? You're weak, you're weak, so you need yeah, it. Eat something. Uh, you can have a piece of jerky. Thanks, Lee. No worries. Alright, so I've got three pieces of food left. It's like I said, I'm not gonna get all. Larry gets a fucking asshole, I hate him. But I'm not gonna be, like, dismissive towards him. I'm, I'm still talk to him, I'm still fucking. Get along, I suppose, for the group. Words but... getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. What are you doing, sitting there cuddling your pipe? You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Thanks. 
I don't think this place will hold out that much longer. So it does sound like a smart idea. Always keep moving, in my opinion. But yeah, that's me. This does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Okay, I understand. Hmm. What about Lily? There you are. Let's talk about you and Kenny. Uh. Got some food? Yeah, I'll give us some food. You can have cheese and crackers. I don't want anything from you. You know what? Fine. I'll give you the option. Fine. Fine. Your choice. Yep. I'm going to give the kids some. Clementine, you can have a bit of food. Because the kids will get hungry a lot easier. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, you can have half an apple. Because it's healthy. I love apples. Aww. Awesome. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Sorry, Clem. Oh. Um, Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hmm. Ah, oh, good job I picked the apple then, because she loves them. Uh, duck. Um, it'll keep me on good sides with Kenny. And plus the kids need to eat, like I said, so... Hey, duck. How about a little food? Oh, it looks so happy. You can have cheese and crackers. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! One left. Save the last piece for someone else. Keep the last piece of food for yourself. Keep it for someone else. I know I'm. I may go out there and do all my all my business and helping and all, but I think I'm alright. I'll save it for someone else. Well, I'm not selfish. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. <clears throat> all right, one piece of food. It's Kenny, Carly, uh, Lily can go fuck herself. <laughs> um, ben, Catcher. You know what? Kenny goes out as well as much as me. So I'm going to give the food to um, to Kenny because he needs his strength. Want something to eat? Here, yeah. Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. <laughs> I'm starved. Thanks. Ah, there you go. No problem, man. You see, I think I think I or I'm all right at handling that kind of thing. You know? Some people have gone longer than me, so I'm not going to be selfish. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. No problem. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're huh? out! What happened to my food? You're a big it's fucking piece of meat. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. What you the fuck are you going to do? Old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. I don't see you out and about fucking killing them. Go fuck yourself. Ken, nope. Lee! Center. <laughs> he didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go. Let him go, Kaja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Mm. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem <clears throat> anymore. It's bad to say, but it attitude? is more or less true. Lily wants him go... Whoa, what the f... <laughs> Uh, uh, you fucking son of a bitch, you were bitten. Fuck you. Oh shit, where's my head gone? What the fuck is happening with this? Get out of the damn way. Uh. No, you fucking didn't. Oh shit. Kick you fucking fuck off. Uh. Get off. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, we're back, okay. Where the fuck did my head go? Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Shh, 
Yes, 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 yes. Fuck. You okay? Yeah. Fucking hell. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, <sighs> Dad. You're gonna get us all killed! Give it a fucking axe. You would do shit with it anyway. You <sighs> said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, you're not bitten. He is back. He came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? What? Well. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. No, I don't... No, I don't think that's true. You're lying. It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. You just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When shit. I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! What? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. I don't want any trouble. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Our right, food does sound good. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Alright, thanks, Carl. So, uh, what do y'all think? So, food does sound good, but we don't have any idea what the hell is going to be there. Not at all. Uh, well, it's only a few of us going, it's not the whole group. Alright, uh, we'll go to dairy. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. All right. So, this dairy, do you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hmm. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. <laughs> Can I keep some of it? Me as a leader, Lily as a smart leader. Ah, uh, me as a leader? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Yeah. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Hell no. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. You're the, you're the press lady. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not it's true. Sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. That's true. I uh, really appreciate that. No, I'm not a bad I mean, guy. Thank no God matter what. Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? 
Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all hmm. seem pretty settled in with that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh, Lily is, technically. Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? I'm not gonna tell you. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some change the subjects. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. No, I'm. Well, they may seem we'd love nice. We'll get you all but... out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Yeah. Mom's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? The hell's up? Get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, they and you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's not Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Hmm. Fuck you! Oh! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! <laughs> All right. The world out here is going to shit. Come on. Well, we know bandits are bad second. trouble then. Great. And it's like I said, these guys might seem nice, but I am not letting them in on everything I know, or everything back at that motor. And all we're doing is this trade, and then that's it. Check the place out first. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. See here, the electricity the running through it. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. <laughs> We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah. I've had any accidents, this is a brilliant so we can't have kids around us. We can't have kids around us. kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. Hey. I'm going to St. John and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. No, it's Hold not. on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, oh. I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. Well. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Brought gasoline. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. They fresh this morning. Mm, no. Amazing. Nom nom nom. Stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come no, for the day. Mark. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. 
Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Uh, I don't... Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. All you right. Gotcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure it's safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. Yeah. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Alright. You know, I'm... I'm still not 100% trusting anybody just yet. So yeah, the swing's broken. Is there anything else around here? Go if you swing too ba back too far on that fucking swing, you're going into you're going to be frying. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. I could try and fix it. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hmm, true. Alright, and well, first things first, let's try and fix that swing. Uh, question is, where can I get some board and some rope? Uh, what's the sound? Oh, it's the generator. Okay. Oh, there's some board there. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size... This might make a good seat for the swing. I think I just saw a Yep, there we go. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Thank you. Alright, that should do just fine for a seat. Alright, uh... Electric fence. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Hmm. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. All right. And that must be the big gas canister over there. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully, we'll find out. Hmm. Uh, I will admit it looks like a nice place, but I don't know, it's just me. It takes a lot for me to trust. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Uh, curious. How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cows is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. <clears throat> the daddies. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. All right. Uh, well, I can't get in the barn, so where can I find some rope? Unless that rope already there can be used, is it? Let's have a check. Hmm. Who knows? You know, it could hopefully work. The board is good, but I need some rope. It'll work. I'm gonna need some rope, but that board I found is too long. Well, I've already cut it, so where can I find some rope? Rope, 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 rope. Use the gate. Might, yeah, you might have some rope up here. You never know. Oh, this dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. 
You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Hmm. You seem to follow me around a lot. Uh, shoe bucket. It's a shoe. Ah, rope. This rope is perfect for the sway. I'll do this nicely. There's nothing else in there. Nothing else I need in here. I'm guessing not then. <laughs> Alright, so I've got some rope and I've got a board. Nice. Alrighty. Let's head back down and fix that swing. I don't know why I'm insisting on doing it. I don't know. I think it's just something for Clementine that I'd like to do. Make her happy. Alright. This shouldn't be too tough. I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. <laughs> Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? I Just did. Trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Alright, well that's fixed. Nice. Alrighty then. Well, you know what guys, I'm going to call it quits for this episode. This is getting even better. The, in the intro to this episode was absolutely amazing. I didn't think it could get any better than it already has done, but it looks like it's going to get even better with every episode that I go. So I hope you're all enjoying it so far. Um, so thank you very much for watching guys. If you do want to keep watching these that I'm gonna finish the Walking Dead and there's gonna be even more indie horror games out there and any other games out there as well please subscribe to stay tuned for them if there's any games that you guys want me want uh, me to play and want to watch me play them anyway please post the suggestions in the comments below and I always take suggestions I always play at least one episode of them even more and to the end if I actually like the games even better so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video goodbye